Hello, hello, guys. Mr. ATC. Back to you again for news of the offensive to recycling. And when it's coming to recycle things, you know, I'm always trying to find some good ideas for you. So today, and before we move on to our next sequence of the Pallet Deck project, I will be sharing with you a very nice and simple shelf that you can also create at home. And for the newbies in our community, I will advise you to click just right here to subscribe to our channel. And after that, click on the bell to receive a notification every time I'm sharing new content with you. Then now, we can start. Let's go. All right, so one of the first thing you will have to do is to dismantle the piece of palette that we have, as you can see me doing here. And keep in mind that this palette is coming from the leftover that I had uh, from one of the palettes that we used in the corner, as you can see. We're gonna use here this slot that I'm cleaning and removing all the side here. Then using the user part that I'm showing you just right here for another project. And to prepare the wood to be used in the thickness planner, I'm gonna be removing here the different nails that we have inside to move just after that to the thickness planner. And remember that if you are doing the same thing, the goal here is to remove just a thick side of it, so not too much, in order to clean the wood as much as possible. And of course, on both sides. To move after that to my miter saw, and as you can see me showing you here, I'm gonna remove both sides here and I will keep for example the leftover for my barbecue you never know <laughs> my goal here will be to remove all the parts with the holes then now I will be moving on my router table using my chamfer bit to smooth down a little bit the edges Then, to give it even a smoother touch, I will be moving after that to my disc sander. Then, when it's all smoothed down, it's time for me to move to my favorite effect, the wood burning. For this, I will be using my blue torch. As you can see, it's doing it pretty fast and pretty well. But keep in mind that if you are doing it for your home, you can also decide to paint and to do whatever you would like on your piece of wood. Then after that, it's time to use my sander in order to sand as much as possible to remove as much as dust that I can. To finish by applying a thick layer of transparent varnish. I didn't say it at the beginning, but those shelves are going to be hanging to the wall using some industrial pipes. I like to use those industrial pipes because they are easy to fix and easy to remove. And you can create different patterns with them and you can create different designs. I can of course create them in different ways, but here I've decided to use only one arm for each shelf. Then here we are for some simple shelf that you can hang to the wall at home. And remember that this project is part of our pallet deck project. As you can see, I'm using just the leftover in order to make other things with it and as I'm telling you all the time in order to recycle as much as possible Once again Mr. ATC for you for another idea of housing to recycling and if you are new to our concept feel free to subscribe just 
here at my TCTV. Then I will see you next time.